all right so here we are going to talk about how to provide link in the page and uh, as I uh, as we discussed in the last video lecture um, we did not discuss the link but we discussed a lot of other um, we discussed style attributes and uh, paragraph tag heading tag and all of that so if you want to provide a link we use a uh, anchor tag and then h reference and we write it as h r e f equals and here you will provide the link and this is also uh, open and close tag so you will close it here and here you can write your text okay and uh, it will be shown on the screen so let me show you how we do that so inside the body let's say I want to provide a link so I'm going to write a at reference I will provide some link here I close the tag and let's say I want the user the, or the viewer to click here so I would say click here and maybe I would also like to provide some content before actually um, moving on to the link so let's say I want to write if you want to know more about um, computer science okay and then I'm going to provide break so it would say click here now I need to provide a link here if I save it and I click here this is nothing right because I, I haven't provided I have not uh, provided a link here so let's say computer science I'll click here Wikipedia I'm going to copy this link and I'll paste it here I'll save it okay when I refresh the page and I click here it will go to Wikipedia all right this is how you can provide links um, now let's talk about creating tables so this is your page and nothing is shown here I want to create a table what is a table right what is a table so this is a table in a table we have rows right in HTML we actually talk about rows only and uh, with rows we create columns because table will have number of rows and columns right so this is first row right and this is second row third row fourth row first row second third fourth so this is a table and these are rows and when you create a table the very first row always contains headings okay so if this is going to be a table containing students data so these headings could be name of the student students roll number um, subject maybe subject marks ID or something right so these are going to be headings and these cells are going to contain the data right and when we create a table in HTML first of all to create a table in HTML we make use of table tag 
and these are all open and closed tags so we make use of table tag and for inside table right so this is table this is the space where you can create rows and columns so there are obviously like I told you when you create a table in HTML there is no concept of columns so we deal with rows so tr refers to first row and what is in your first row in your first row there are headings right so for that we make use of th now how do we decide number of columns in a table with the help of these tags inside the row okay so this is one open opening and closing tag so this this is one column right if I provide another opening and closing tag this is second column and so on and remember this is first row okay so we are using th if it is second row you will have to write the same thing again instead of heading we are going to write td that is table data tr stands for table row th stands for table heading td stands for table data so let's create our first table to create our first table we need to use table tag okay and now if I save it and I run it there is nothing here right because we have not created rows yet so this is my first row okay and uh, in my first row I'm going to have some headings I'll create one heading first and you will actually see the difference between table heading and table data so let's say I'm going to save name here so I'll save it and you can see name right and if you can see this is bold right okay okay and uh, so this is my first column in a way right in first row this is my first column I also want to create in the same row I want to create another column say roll number so I'm going to copy paste now if you see row is the same and I have created two columns here in a way right so this is my first row inside this I have two columns or two headings and I'll change this to roll number all right okay now I want to create second row so for that I'll come out of this first row this is first row opening and closing uh, tag I'll create second row and here since I want to enter not heading but data now so I'll use TD okay so for name I'm going to write let's say um, some random random name what should I write maybe I want to write it okay ABC right all right so this is my first entry for name and for roll number I'm going to uh, write here maybe some random number maybe I'm going to write one one okay so I'm going to save it now can you see the difference if it is th table heading it will be bold and this is not heading I used td tag so this is not bold right now there is no border here right because we haven't provided any border and by default 
value of border is 0 if you want to provide a border you have to write in the table tag border equals so since we want a border if you don't want it you can keep it 0 or you don't have to provide it since we want it I'll write 1 here save it and this is here you can create a table okay so if let's say this is how your website looks like right something like this maybe so it says here you have to write email here you have to provide password and uh, then you also have one box here another box here can you guess what is actually happening here well this whole page just like this whole page it's been divided so this is a table without any border this is first row this is second row there are two columns okay in the first row there is this is th tag th tag has been used here table heading and this this is some this is a box where you can write text so these are um, these are the I mean HTML provides these features and so password is also here th tag okay because it is bold and so this is how you can create a web page an HTML page you just need to understand how you are actually dividing the page okay then there are other attributes you can um, you know we will learn about those attributes and many other features of HTML in the coming videos and uh, we will also start with um, flask and we'll try to create first application first web app or web page website web page um, using python programming so i'll see you in the next video lecture